Hi, this is Peter from the Farm Fact Center. Today we are going to talk about uh, uh, something that's very close to my heart. In fact, I'm going to talk about uh, seven path self hypnosis. And uh, I remember when I took up the, the, my hypnotherapy certification and uh, I was looking through the course syllabus and I saw this thing called self-hypnosis. By the time I really actually have some idea about what self-hypnosis is really and I wasn't paying quite close attention to what uh, uh, the self-hypnosis is all about because I, I have been involved uh, with some form of uh, self-hypnosis technique before and uh, I've been using it myself and, and uh, on myself I've been teaching to other people. And when I saw the syllabus and I saw self-hypnosis, I actually wasn't quite impressed with it. When I come in contact with uh, what Seven Path is all about, I was totally blown away. Well, in the very first place, Seven Path is very different from all the, the classical seven, the, I mean the classical self-hypnosis that we have always been exposed to. Uh, it's not uh, based on imagery, neither do you record uh, your own voice and play back to yourself. It's not based on a script where you read back to yourself and, and things like that. Seven Path is, uh, there are four things that are different uh, where Seven Path is concerned. It's a mind, body and spirit approach. And by that, uh, I mean uh, Seven Path uh, can involve your higher power, or your higher belief. Okay, and uh, taking that power into the hypnosis session itself is actually a very powerful experience. It doesn't mean that you have to have a religion. Okay? It's just that uh, you can make use of uh, uh, another a higher concept or higher power that you believe in. Uh, another thing about Seven Path, the second thing is that uh, it is a fact based. It is based on feeling, something that comes from inside of you. And uh, when emotions is the one that drives uh, us, uh, when we are doing self-hypnosis, we use uh, emotions to uh, help us get to where we want to go, right? since it's the thing that's driving us, so it's effect-based. And the third thing about uh, how Seven Path is better than other forms of self-hypnosis is that uh, it is a insight therapy, uh, as in because we use emotions in the uh, in the self hypnosis itself, the awareness that we get from dealing with all those emotions actually gives us new insights about how and why we do certain things, and uh, that would in effect get us to uh, have more insights into how and why we do things and. Uh, it, and this awareness in itself and the insight that is given is a very useful tool for us to have. And of course, the fourth thing that is that the Seven Path is very much better than the rest of the other form of hypnosis is that it's a form of deprogramming. You see, mm -hmm. uh, using emotions, we actually can connect ourselves to the uh, feelings that we have that uh, is affecting us and uh, these are things that we may not be aware of and uh, be paying attention to in our daily life and some of these feelings actually are sabotaging us and uh, we may not be totally aware of it and uh, Seven Path actually works consciously and unconsciously to help us deal with all this uh, these unconscious barriers, okay, and so uh, it works as a deprogramming as well. Call it a uh, antivirus program of your mind, okay. And uh, we always have seven half plans running, and uh, the next one is coming up soon. So uh, check out our website or our correspondence for new classes coming up soon. I'll see you. Bye.